Hi, Doug Stone with IT Creations with another HPE Gen 10 server review. This week we'll take a look at the One U Dual Socket ProLiant DL360 Gen 10. With the new Gen 10 high performance servers, Intel Xeon processor scalable family of CPUs delivers up to 28 cores and memory speeds up to 2666 megahertz. The DL360 is similar to the DL380, but the One U form factor supports less storage. It still delivers up to three terabytes of memory and can be outfitted with HPE persistent memory and non-volatile storage to achieve a significant increase in performance. This server is designed for diverse applications in database, high-performance computing, and extreme virtualization. It's densely packed for space-constrained environments and can easily be adapted to support a wide range of applications. What's new on the DL360 Gen 10? Support for both non-volatile hard drives and persistent DIMMs. Support for extra storage capacity with optional rear-mounted drive cages. Expanded boot drive options with support for more M.2 storage devices. Faster memory at 2666 MHz more options for HD controllers, improved security with ILO 5.0, and let's not forget the new Xeon scalable family of processors. By the way, we have a special offer to the first 100 customers who mention this video. If you're ready to make a purchase, we are offering $250 off our list price of one of HP's Gen 10 systems valued at $2,500 or more. Just mention this video. Even if you're looking for something else, you really should check out IT Creations. And now, back to the review. The DL360 Gen 10 comes in three basic chassis configurations to support standard business applications or for use in high-performance computing and everything in between. Administrators can also mix and match storage devices to support unique workloads. Chassis options include an 8-bay small form factor drive chassis, which supports an optional universal media bay with either two SFF SAS SATA drives or two SFF NVMe drives or two smart drive carriers that support two M.2 cartridges or an optical drive with a display port and USB 2.0 port. By the way, the 8-bay chassis with optional media bay housing the two 2.5-inch drive carriers looks just like the 10-bay NVMe chassis. The main difference is the backplane. The NVMe 10-bay chassis has an NVMe SAS backplane and supports a mix of NVMe and SAS drives. However, NVMe drives must be installed in bays 9 and 10. Lastly, there's also a 4-bay large form factor drive chassis. It also supports an optional optical drive, system insight display, and additional ports. All of these configurations also support a rear-mounted drive cage that can house a single 2.5-inch drive or a single 2.5-inch drive carrier with dual M.2 cartridges for additional storage or super-fast boot-up. The system comes with an embedded HPE SmartArray S100i software storage controller, which is turned off by default and must be enabled. The pre-configured models also come with a choice of HD controllers, depending on the chassis. Either a SmartArray E208i, a P408i, or a P816i. The E208i supports the standard business applications, and both the P408i and P816i are performance controllers, with the latter offering a low-profile heatsink to accommodate a GPU in the primary riser. Intel's new scalable family is supported by a brand new chipset as well, the C621. Administrators can choose from bronze, silver, two flavors of gold, and platinum Intel Xeon scalable processors, with core counts ranging from 4 to 28 cores and an increase in cache. The socket supporting the new CPU is also substantially larger than the previous version Xeon E5 2600 processor. The whole range of scalable family processors from bronze to platinum are supported on HPE's high-performance Gen 10 servers, which is a departure from the previous generation Xeon E3, E5, and E7 V4 processors. With the previous generation, the E3 was for a single processor application, the E5 processor for two and four socket applications, and the E7 processor, not surprisingly the most expensive, was for eight socket applications. With the new scalable family, you could use one of the Platinum processors in a two-socket server. However, from a budgetary standpoint, Platinum is still the most expensive and a better option might be to size the processor capabilities to your desired workload. And like I said, even bronze processors support two CPUs now. Still, you could use a Platinum processor and I suppose there are applications where that might make sense. Oh, and by the way, QPI, Quick Path Interconnect, has been replaced with the Ultra Path Interconnect, increasing inter-socket communication from 9.6 gigatransfers per second to 10.4 gigatransfers per second. The new processors deliver a performance increase of up to 71%, up to 27% more cores, and also support faster DDR4 memory. Administrators can choose from registered, load-reduced, or non-volatile memory modules. The non-volatile NVDIMM modules support the fastest speeds by far, but the least capacity at 192 gigabytes using 12 16 gigabyte NVDIMMs. However, for the most memory capacity, LR DIMM modules are the go-to with the DL360 Gen 10, supporting up to three terabytes of memory using 128 gigabyte LR DIMM memory modules, operating at speeds of up to 2666 megahertz when paired with an appropriate CPU. Memory types cannot be mixed, with the exception of the NVDIMM modules, which can be paired with RDIMM modules exclusively. Powering the new Gen 10 platforms are what HPE calls their flex slot power supplies, which feature a common electrical and physical design. This means any of the PSUs can be installed in HPE's ProLant Gen 10 high-performance servers, allowing administrators to right-size the power supply for specific configurations. 
The PSUs are also rated 94% and 96% efficiencies, resulting in lower overall energy costs, which is especially important for data center deployments. The system also supports embedded video and up to five USB ports, front and back, again, depending on chassis configuration. On the back of the system, network communications are handled by an embedded one gigabit ethernet with four ports. There's also an optional HPE flexible LAN on motherboard with a dedicated socket, or administrators can use a standard PCIe card supporting transfer speeds of one gigabit ethernet, 10 gigabit ethernet, or 25 gigabit ethernet. Three PCIe 3.0 slots give the DL360 Gen 10 the ability for more NICs, high performance HD controllers, or GPU and accelerator options for graphics applications or high performance computing. The primary expansion riser included with the system supports two PCIe 3.0 slots and optional M.2 storage for extra storage capacity or fast boot up. Additional primary risers are available and support GPUs and NVMe. A secondary riser requires two processors and supports three expansion slots. Management on the Gen 10 service has been enhanced with a new integrated lights out management module with updated firmware. The silicone root of trust is HPE's marketing term for the updated security features on ILO 5.0 Premium Security Edition that resists attacks and subversive firmware intrusions by comparing a virtual thumbprint of the firmware with a control version. Using ILO's Security Edition, server firmware is checked every 24 hours, and if compromised code is detected, secure recovery software rolls the firmware back to the last known approved version. Of course, the new ILO module does what its predecessor did by providing on-site, on-cloud, and remote access in and out of band. HPE OneView standard also offers more control of the system and can be used for inventory, health monitoring, alerting, and reporting without additional fees. OneView is your management automation engine, bringing servers, storage, and networking under a single software-defined environment that forms the basis for a composable infrastructure. HPE's composable infrastructure takes flexibility to a new level, giving administrators more control to change physical storage and networking, on the fly, to address cyclical changes in workflow throughout the day. Both ILO and OneView can be updated to an advanced or premium license, which will open the door to even more management features. The HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 10 is a platform designed to support just about any application. Its high density features, power efficiency, and small form factor also make it an ideal choice for data centers. With security issues in the news all the time and hackers gaining notoriety for infiltrating the most secure IT environments, the enhanced security features offered on HPE's Gen 10 server line provide another reason why the DL360 Gen 10 will be eagerly accepted by IT administrators. We hope you enjoyed our review of the Gen 10 DL360. If you have any questions regarding this server or any other, post your comments in the section below. To be notified when we release a new video, subscribe to our channel, and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. By the way, we put a few links in the description below if you'd like to learn more about this platform. I'm Doug Stewart for IT Creations, and thanks for watching.